Jinx uh, Chompers for even the shuffle yeah. from these here as well. And we kind of talked about Wonder just going back towards the Cassante as well. He's going to be able to provide the follow-up that you want on that fight no too. Problem. So. But it may be too late. They're way too far overextended. Isma waiting. Looking for the twisted advance on a trim. He knows that's the vulnerable target. Not concerned about Flack. And he has the cleanse. Quick and easy first blood. Some clever. Uh, maybe not when no, yeah, we're about to take Void Grubs. No, you're not, but... you're not for the caster bias angle. You could try yeah. to stun them both. <laughs> Knockback from Isma is solid. Still takes a bit of damage there. Red buff supporting him. Help him keep Yanko slowed down as Niski now moves in. But Isma getting low. Does have the passive to keep him going. Doss, knockback there. Luckily, he can just jump back out to safety with Niski. But um, yeah, Isma's still a Maokai. And so uh, really only able to get nothing. <laughs> still <laughs> here to get the grub. He just, he just, he's just in a 1v1 with the Void Monster, which is respectable. But now, Zviro going to push back onto Niski. Knock up there from Doss. Clean flash out from Zviro. Now oh he's going to get the kill. Oh, we knew he was good at play towards him to make sure you're going to be safe. Yanko's though going to respond by at least getting some deep vision on this top side jungle. Could also as the advancement. All right. Play going to fizzle. Relevant pretty happy with that as Isma now returns. And Relevant about to stack up the rage. Once all out fades, Relevant going to feel very comfortable to step up. Yankos needs to be ready to turn this one back, but Relevant instantly goes for the wall up. Nice interrupt from Yankos to just be unstoppable for a brief moment. But here comes the root. Nope. Manages to backstep. All right, Houdini, how you got into this one? Flash is going to keep him safe, but Isma again now just going to follow up. Meganar damage early on is just disgusting. Vault Breaker not enough. Wonder. Now sees more SK. Have the resources committed topside. Happy to grab those two grubs. So Team Heretic's not going to find anything here unless Doss and Niski overstep. But again, the proactive playmaking tools is essentially the vibe. Before this fight kicks off, or it's too easy for Heretics to just fight board and cut them off, but Trimby comes cost. Niski looking for the angle. The skies descend, empowered Aurelian Soul to make an excellent way to get things started. And now Execute just, just to try to clean house. Spiral and Flacken on the backside didn't even get to participate. Beautiful fight for the side of SK. And Execute's not done yet, baby. He's ghosted in. He's charged up. And Flacken's getting put six feet under. Heretics were completely separated on the play. It started off well where they took river control. But then you could see members start to move bottle side to try and get control over the bot lane wave. Then you end up with Trimby starting to push in towards a brush that wasn't warded out. And SK immediately jump on him, knowing that they can just get everyone on the same. SK. But in the meantime, Team Heretic's going to break the bot lane tower open. Still only one grub to two, so need to stop. As Heretic, so you got that opportunity to try and play off of Rift Herald, but they're trying to interrupt Push that here. back is a nice setup. Zeri, though, makes it over the wall. Not quite there. Zyro, now trying to turn it back, but he can't get it right into shifting San Diego. Doesn't get into the ball breaker. Oh, it's a catastrophe in real time. It's not a hostile takeover. Huge damage from the early and Soul, not quite an execute range. Black and not going to get caught in the middle, but Niski wants to keep going for the push. Oh. Wonder there to body block, but the house. Oh, Godzilla from downtown makes it work. The pullback there. Wonder finding Niski off to the side. Surely he comes out on top of the 1v1. Trippy on the way, but Irrelevant ready to drop over the wall at a moment. The pullback good. Oh, Shut down for Wonder. That's a start. Got to keep the Cassante going. We need to see that discipline from SK shape up. And that they're going to the give worry. Team Heretics a way back in. That is the worry. It's that this is consistently the problem at SK where they are going too far forward and teams are punishing them. The shutdowns are not the worst threat. But this could be a problem. Alti looking for the pick onto Irrelevant. The hop not going to take him out to safety. This time around, the pick on a side lane works. Team Heretic now going to try to break this tower down. That's the empowered Jinx, courtesy of the passive, just shredding the objective. Hero doesn't fun. have ultimate. This is a bit of a bold call, but SK, it is the 4v5. Isma now going to ult and try to peel back. 4K on the Dragon, not the center of attention. That's the Lightning Crash coming in from Exekick. He's relatively untouched. Hostile Takeover just going to get sidestepped. Exekick just fast enough. Yankos doesn't have an ulti, but the ulti from Flack, it'll take the Drake. Here comes the Dragon. Here comes the Lightning Girl, but Exekick oversteps again. SK, you psychos. They're just barely getting the edge in the exchange. It's a <laughs> shutdown to the Jinx. They lose the Dragon, but I guess it leaves out as well. That, though. That was bedlam. <laughs> that was absolutely nuts in the fights. But again, it kind of comes yeah. supposed to hang a up. <laughs> Doss trying to bring Trimby down. What about a free pick, he says. Not too free, though, because Doss is now going to be in trouble with the ulti from Niski. The skies descend. Empowered will find the pick. The rocket not going to connect on the they Doss. kept on to those ults, played for mid into topside pressure. But with the fact that now they don't really have full control, it's just easy to get the Dragon with the position that they're in rather than trying to fall back after a play. I knew that Niski and Isma had, but 
Wasn't sure how many other people. Uh, incredibly clutch. That said, Trimby's still walking forward. A bit bold. The slow coming in from Aurelian Soul is just so impactful. Trimby gonna cleanse himself. That's the Mikhail's taken on board. They're now focusing their resources onto Isma, but Dox is gonna look for the turn. Three man, four man. He's hitting everybody with the quickness, but the carries are in no position to fight. Execute tries to ulti, but it's about to expire. He's able to hit Yankos just in time, and look at that Zeri damage. But he flashes from Isma. It's an epic betrayal. No! It all turns against him. Black is still standing. Niski needs to be the one to turn this back. Run of it now coming in. The Nar! The clean flashes back. Team Heretics. Feels like that's his moment. That's his window of opportunity to turn this game in his favor, and it just does not pan out. Dawson for the follow-up on Yankos. Spyro setting up a tower there. Irrelevant does so much damage, but Niski's here to finish the job. Sundisk still stopping. Off the wings. Doesn't have the ultimate available. Can still be a big major threat. Irrelevant. Who can he catch? Wonder. Black it. No sums. This is going to be big. The Jinx is everything. Doss trying to catch him on the backside. There's no immediate fall. That's a immediate lightning crash. So the damage is there, and Niski. Coming in from the side, dive bomb in the back line. Just keeps spitting hot fire, and it's a double kill for Exekick. A massive fight, a triple in the end. SK taking over. It's 30 plus death timers, though, so at least SK should be able to crack open the base. Zyru will be up in the next couple of minutes. We'll have to try and clear out the way, but I don't think SK can go from the end. I think it's just try and crack open the base. Do a bit of time. Would be bold, of course. Double towers there. How much do SK want to go for? I think they're going for it all. Oh, will this be the moment where they were confident, where they know they made the right play, or will this be the moment where they feel like they threw it all away because Isma's already in the fountain, he's gone! Spyro's still living because of the bailout a little bit too long, but Exekick, they just need to hit the Nexus. Three seconds on Flack, and they've done it! SK taking game one in confidence. It was a close call at the end, but they managed to pick up game one, finding the fight that they needed, separating Spyro. So one of them, yeah, is going to have to go forward. Eventually, you yeah. will hit Something the Zaya. is going Something to hit Zaya. Hit the Zaya. <laughs> All right, I like that. Overload the Zaya. She can only dodge one of the mini CC tools present on the side of Team. This isn't in a position to contest. SK are dictating the pace of this early game massively and getting a ton of advantages out of this. Yeah, we'll see when level six comes around if things get a little bit easier. Obviously, Wonder now has his. Viro has his as well. But with Yankos at such a deficit, it's really hard to make plays on the map. Isma's, you know. Getting these three grubs uncontested because of the action that happened it's mid lane. Like a small little bit of opportunity given over to Heretics, but you're still relatively fine with this. Isma? Okay, okay Smite not was... quite precise there. Isma gonna find the stun up onto Yankos. Exekick now coming in. How many more cooldowns are left? Trimby, Flackhead, Yankos all caught in the pit. Magical Journey can take him out to safety, but Exekick is clean on the feather pullback. Flackhead running for his life as Doss tries to find the continuation of the play, but no, Viro is here and down. He hasn't reset to spend the extra gold that he has. So, happy enough now for Heretics to take us, and SK would just trade in the top zone. Second Drake, though, for Team Heretics, an angle to bring this one to back. To get at least some play damage onto that bottom side, as uh, Niski spots out Zwaru trying to check his face into this Void Grub area. But right now, they just need to secure the rest of these Grubs. Renekton already doing a very good job of holding on to Pryo on the top side, irrelevant. Clutch in Game 1. Replicating that performance here in game two, building this pretty sizable individual advantage again. 0-0-0. I think it was less than a week or about a week worth of scrims before the season started, and it worked out well. Again, first in regular season, or fighting for first, excuse me, in regular season. 6-3 at the end of the day, much better score overall, but if they fall out 7th, 8th again, nobody cares. Flackett, though, trying to find a punish on the bot side with the support of Yankos. Irrelevant, very. Doesn't deny the charge. TP in behind, though. That's going to be the wreck side. Wreck side. Niski now trying to escape. Isma. Likely to just get sacrificed here, but SK wants to fall. Flip back onto two is big. Dots immediately punishes. Rek'Sai stunned forever. Cannot even ult. Exekick sees the blood in the water. Blood in his eyes. He's just stepping up, and Trimby has to run. He's secured here by SK. Heretics could look for a late fight or maybe a pick on Niski. Ulti is good from Trimby. Immediate knockup should come out. No way to get out of this one. Niski, a dead man standing. Dragon traded for the pick. Nice bit of proactivity from Team Heretics. They want to shift this into the mid lane push, but they only have that single key. As you try to retake yeah. vision here as SK. Well, they're going to know now as they stay the indicator. The multiple members were committed to the objective. Tempered Fate goes wide, and Doss now wants to re-engage. Yeah, wonder who's isolated off to the side. Flip back on from Niski. A bit more renewed room for Team Heretics to step up if they want. Instead, they're just going to bet it all on a 50-50 stun on Exekick. It's big, though. They're going to try to burst him down. Feathers fly. Flack it looking for the sidestep. It's all on him. Zyro with the three-man pullback. Hand delivered to his AD carry. In goes Wonder. And in the blink of an eye, the rookie mid laner carries all these former hands of Heretics. 
Heretics knew they had the old economy advantage. Knew Irrelevant. I think let down a little bit by his team and some of these greater decisions. Individually has been putting work in, breaking down this tower in isolation, but Wonder He's dead. on the back of that play on, with all the gold he got is now able to do it. They want to try and put down. You do have ultimates that you could use to zone SK off and Spyro. Pushback is good. Niski unraveled Earth. Nice knockback to make sure Spyro's stunned up. Doss immediately there to follow. Spyro needs to back away. He needs to get out to safety. Trimmy gonna try to peel as best he can with the Bard. Spyro's still living. Crucially, Cat's coming in. Not quite gonna connect on Niski as he ults out to safety. All of Team Heretics banding together to make sure they're... Looking to siege down SK and force them back. Force them into that game three. Again, got some teammates to cover. Keep your eyes on the tempered fate from Trimby. Niski, no flash. There's an opportunity to pick him off. Feathers fly already, and immediately they go on Axe kick. Easy pick off Trimby with the fall. If they can take the jungler out of the equation, Q timing is good from Trimby. And Isma will get knocked back. Open the base. Two members down, 19 seconds, 18 and counting on Axe kick. It's the only chance they have in the fight if they can have their AD carry back up and alive. But Team Heretics know what they came for. One inhibitor getting knocked down. Meanwhile, three other members in the mid lane breaking down that tower. A second inhibitor likely to follow. Flash on both Wunder and Yanko, so SK can't even approach because they could immediately get turned on Niski, taking that risk. No way. They don't have the vision. They don't have a TP ward to really play off of. They can see Wonder in the brush, but it's a difficult pick to make happen. He's just so tanky. Pick Flacket, there's the TP. Flacket dashing over the wall. TP now coming in. Doss on the chase. Dash to irrelevant. Dash again. W forward. He's been caught with a tempered fate. Buys a second for Flacket, and it's all he needs. Immediate ulti. Now turning the fight back on irrelevant. The crocodile getting cut down as Wonder is on a killing spree. Trimby on the chase. A magical journey now forward. Feathers fly from Mexico, but Yanko's just standing behind, ready to knock him back into the waiting arms of Zyros. Mexico flashing out to safety. It's all eyes on this area, but Flacket is already here. Lightning in his veins. Kills left and right. Niski, the last hope for SK, but Talia is not enough. Isma as well, just trying to clear this one out. But the push in the base is there. As if the fight before wasn't enough. Why don't we just pan over and see the MVP of this game at work. Spyro in the Baron pit. Spyro in the base. He keeps Team Heretics alive. When Heretics were down, when it looked like they were nearly out, it's the rookie mid laner that makes the plays, that sets up. Wonder just gonna take the more conservative okay. option. But Cassante, a champion who can, you know, just take one of these carries out of the fight in late game fights, especially paired alongside a Sejuani and just ruin Kerche Shard coming in for X kick on the first back alongside a long sword. We'll see what Flack it gets when he finally does recall. He will be Recalling with a bit more gold, but only by about two creeps. So it shouldn't amount to too much. Plus, X kick of course, had the luxury of the first strike. Give it the teams who lower the burden of execution are generally more favored. Dash back from X kick Push forward from Zyro. Does he want to trade? Flash is here. He already gets X a kick. That's going to be first blood. The Lucian put behind. The like, maybe I can ult away from Yankos as he goes in. Maybe here he was like, hey, Zyro goes in with a flash. I'll flash and return. It wasn't quite fast enough for the trigger finger, but means yeah. it is a kill. Going across over to the Azir, which is great. Blasting one now pick up for him. Good control over the mid lane. SK will be able to get the dragon for themselves. <laughs> How Jinx has character development in the context of the game. Like, maybe the voices have less influence, more influence. Who knows? But on the top side, Irrelevant trying to survive here on a bit of an over-aggressive dive. The healing is there, but it's not enough. Wonder grabs that kill. Fantastic. So it's a good time to be a Cassante in the context of this game. And already some grubs getting picked up. Three for SK. At the very least, they're keeping the objectives in their favor. A dragon, four, and now five grubs. Great position. They only burned Flacket's ultimate, so can still turn and burn onto Ismith if they want to. Have to be careful, though. Early package is so impactful, and in goes Niski. He wants to make the play, but Spyro's already dashed out to safety. Double root onto Flacket and Trimby, but there's no follow-up damage. Yanko's now in trouble. Execute trying to dash away, but the boar's got him locked down. The cleanse is good, though. Lucian on the edge, trying to escape. Isma on the way in. It's one kill back for Exekick, but now the TP coming in. Flack has already got the reset. He's looking to take down Isma as well. Yes, Exekick might walk away, but SK have lost the fight. Irrelevant will get the some points. are looking to grab it now. Irrelevant and has irre TP top, but Heretic's just going to zone off as a result. And honestly, big wins for Heretic's. If you can stop these dragons from being stacked by SK, you don't have to try and fight early. We're hoping that the Renekton can make the difference here. Demolish proc, five stacks on the grubs. 
will grab this tower, first tower of the game to SK, and again the for Colleen and plays and get control over mid wave to then open up the map, maybe even playing towards the enemy jungle. Not really an option when you have melee on position for for this bot side tower. Uh, Execute could have gone for the reset, so Heretics just coming off the back of their own reset. Gets the tower and gets the damage done. It'll of course. get us. It'll take tower. It's good. Yeah. And he's gonna TP actually, just to back up. Are they hoping to get the double push here? With the Herald, the answer is oh, yeah, but it's on to wonder. It's the Pope that needs to beat the Death Cap. Try and shoot it off his head, because if he can land this damage, it becomes very hard to stick Holy. around. Decent damage on now on his Fyro, but Niski right into the back line. They just light him up. Air traffic control not pleased about that one. Exekick now dashing. He's desperate to try to take this playback, but Wonder is damn strong, unstoppable forward. SK are crumbling under the pressure. Irrelevant was not there at the start of the play, and he's going to get deleted on the back half of it. It's an easy Baron call for Team Heretics if they want it. But for now, they'll settle for the mid lane tier one. It's Baron. Heretics are going to get Baron. There's just nothing. I don't know what happened to SK there. Niski, you have a Drake going to go over. This is the stacking was already delayed because of the previous Drake play. It's only further behind, which you would have, you know, hoped for with an Ocean Soul. And Team Heretics oh, yeah. is kind of doomed. And now, Terrors are falling. Baron Buff is going to be massive. They're going to try and fight this. Isma fishing for the pick. Calling not going to do much of anything. Stun on the X kick. Immediate cleanse out. Team Heretics just absorb the engage and walk away. This is the power of their composition now that they're out of the early mid game. And Wonder is still in the mid wave. Four versus five. They're happy to absorb and push back. Now you don't have the range to really fight against Heretics, and they're happy to push on in. Wonder going to get mid, or at least mid lane terror started. As a relevant will move in to support them, but now Heretics get to push in. Boss can rotate to Wonder if they want to, but the, the Baron cre creeps are doing enough. Yeah, Wonder happy to just uh, usher that wave in. Does take out the cannon minion, so maybe no, nope, does go down. And now the gold lead starts to feel. When the stakes are high, these guys do not mess around. Like, they are not risking anything. Yanko's walking up, he gets the tower. The Kohling now comes out. Wonder on the flank. Isma. Now Yankee stats on the side of Team Heretics. Team Heretics looking to establish control on the bot side. SK Jungle taking away the red buff as Wonder does not take damage, Exa. but does continue to step forward. Just looking to solo bolo the enemy AD carry, dashing back into the safety of his team as that kick is picked off. And that might be the final nail on the cop, and that might be the death knell. SK about to be freed from this mortal coil, freed from the spring split. Team Heretics finished top eight in the last split. They made controversial changes, but on the back of Spyro in game two, an incredible team play in game three. They are set to move on to the next stage. Niski trying to do something, but he's too far behind. And today, today belongs to Team Heretics. An incredible performance from Team Heretics and a great performance from that man on your screen. Viral 